Welcome to SAT Math Part 1, Geometry. My name is Amory, and I'm a tutor and instructor for Top Test Prep. SAT Math combines both old and new, familiar and unfamiliar. What's old is the formulas you'll be using. SAT Math requires that you know formulas from Geometry, Algebra 1, and some Algebra 2. There are no new formulas on the exam. What's new is the types of questions you'll see. SAT Math challenges you to use the formulas you know and apply them, sometimes in multiple steps, to a new problem. Your task is to recognize the familiar in something unfamiliar. For geometry, the formulas should all be familiar to you. In fact, some of the most important formulas are provided at the beginning of every SAT Math section. This formula box is crucial and can help you answer many SAT math problems. Don't forget to use it. The way you apply these formulas may be different from anything you've done before. On a geometry problem, you might see something like this. In the figure above, what is the value of z? While this diagram may seem unfamiliar, there are familiar elements from geometry that we can use to solve for z. Here, we see that z is actually one angle in a triangle. Looking back at our formula box, we know that the sum of the measure in degrees of the angles of a triangle is 180. Let's label the other two angles x and y. This means that z plus the other two angles inside the triangle equals 180. We can find angle x because of a different rule, one that isn't provided by our formula box. The measure in degrees of one side of a line is 180. Angle x and the angle measuring 133 degrees together form one side of a line. This means that 133 plus x equals 180, so x equals 47. Now we need to find y. y and this angle, labeled in red, happen to be vertical angles. And we know, going into it, that vertical angles are equal. Therefore, y equals 65. Now that we have measures of the other two angles, we can find z. The sum of the measures in degrees of the angles of a triangle is 180. Translating that into an equation, z plus 47 plus 65 equals 180, so z equals 68. To review, SAT Math combines old and new by challenging you to use the formulas you know to solve unfamiliar problems. Some, but not all, of these useful formulas are provided at the beginning of every SAT Math section. For more information on SAT or ACT prep, call 1-800-501-PREP or visit us at toptestprep.com.